Have you ever been gaming on your laptop and it's obvious that your PC is trying to communicate that it would rather be working on a spreadsheet? Well, today we're going to help you improve your laptop gaming performance in just a few simple steps. This is DIY in 5. Hey everyone, my name is Trisha Hirschberger and you're watching DIY in 5. Today we're going to max out the capabilities of your gaming laptop so that it can run its own personal best. It's important to note that not all gaming laptops are created equal, but whether you bought the entry-level gaming laptop that has the cool gamer aesthetic but not much under the hood, or the super high-powered beast of a machine that's meant to be overclocked and used as a desktop replacement, these tips and tricks will help you out. If you find the tips in today's video useful, please like this video and give us a sub while you're in between matches so you don't miss out on any future tech tips. I was going to say while you're on a loading screen, but I'm hoping to help you eliminate those as much as possible. So let's do this. Step one, plug in your laptop. On the surface, it may not seem like a big deal. However, one of the key metrics for every laptop review is battery life, and a metric that gaming laptops are notoriously awful at. Knowing this should give you pause and just make you a little bit paranoid? Is my laptop manufacturer doing something in the background to reduce power consumption? Could they be throttling some of the CPU cores? While speculating, plug in that laptop. If you need to be off charger, most laptops are configured with specific power modes that are going to promote the highest amount of battery life when away from the charger at the expense of performance. Luckily, you can change this, but know that your battery life will take the L as a result. Speaking of power modes, don't assume that your laptop's power mode is in maximum performance just because it's plugged in. To be sure, navigate to power and sleep under additional settings and create a power plan specifically for gaming. You can even save a custom preset called gaming when you make the changes so that you can easily switch back and forth. Next, we want to ensure that we have great airflow. This way we can achieve maximum cooling and heat dissipation. Always assume that heat and poor cooling and ventilation are bad. How do processors compensate for poor airflow and poor ventilation? They start throttling, which will cause us to drop frames and possibly lag, and again, we don't want that. Be sure to move your laptop to a dedicated space or surface like a laptop cooling pad that will ensure proper airflow. Avoid a pillow on the lap setup at all costs. Next, close all background apps and enable Windows game mode. Windows game mode prevents PC restarts and outside of Windows core functionality does not allow background apps to run that are not related to the game. It ensures that other programs or tasks can't cause an in-game performance drop while enabled. We want the CPU dedicated to our game. Windows game mode is outstanding, but it's still advisable to close all background apps just in case. For those who play a ton of multiplayer games, don't forget about your network. Always try to use Ethernet, but if you must use Wi-Fi, try to get on the 5 GHz and use router optimizations to send more throughput to gaming traffic. We could create an entire episode on network optimizations, and in fact, we did. See the link in the description if you want to check it out. Okay, here's one we are all guilty of. Don't forget to manage your gaming laptop's automatic updates. As soon as you see an updates available, you will want to apply that update as it will be viewed as core functionality and might initialize at the wrong time. You should treat Steam in the same manner and make sure it stays up to date. Also make sure your GPU management software is up to date. So never assume that your gaming performance is optimized because you had a couple of good gaming sessions. The GPU drivers are constantly updating, so certain games will improve over the life of the GPU. DirectX 12 Ultimate was launched in 2020, and it's advised that you keep this up to date as well. Finally, check to see if your display refresh rate is locked to 60 hertz because you have VSync turned on. Turn it off and thank me later when you're producing frames over 100 frames per second. Now, as a bonus, there are additional hardware upgrades that you can do to increase performance. You could upgrade your RAM as well as storage. For example, memory and storage upgrades make almost any laptop sing when compared to the RAM and storage that comes stock with your laptop. But before rushing out to purchase an upgrade, make sure to check that your laptop's storage and memory are upgradable in the first place. Some laptops will have RAM soldered to the motherboard, and in that case, you're stuck with what you got. Let's recap by going through a checklist that we will follow the next time we plan on gaming. Ready? One, plug in your laptop. Two, select the gaming performance plan that we created. Three, move your laptop to a dedicated space or surface that will ensure proper airflow. Four, close all background apps and enable Windows game mode. Five, check your internet connection. Six, make sure automatic updates, Steam and GPU management are all up to date. 
Seven, make sure VSync is off. Eight, replace or update hardware as needed if possible. With a fully optimized laptop, you're now ready to game. You'll be able to control your destiny as your gaming laptop will be a tool rather than a burden. I mean, we're trying to win, correct? We are, unless you're playing me. And we already know, then in that case, I win. Well, since it's winning time and now I've bragged about it, I better go practice. Uh, this is Trisha Hirschberger, and I'll see you next time with more DIY in 5.